Hello and welcome back. Today I'm filming this on my Android smartphone and the reason is I have had a whole bunch of questions from you about how to connect an external microphone to your mobile device. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate. And what you are hearing is audio recorded directly on the phone using a USB microphone. In the old days, mobile devices had a combined headphone microphone input, so you could use that to connect a mic, but this is no longer standard. You need an alternative. So I'm going to be looking at using various USB mics with your mobile device, not anything that plugs into the microphone port. In particular, you have asked more than a few questions about using an external microphone with the small karaoke app and similar ones. But if you want to improve the audio quality on your mobile device for anything that involves audio, whether it's making videos like this, using recording apps, music apps, Zoom and Skype, then a USB mic is a quick, easy and cost effective way to do it. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to cycle through five different USB mics with various kinds of connections. Some are pretty old mics, a couple are much newer models. That's just to show you that this is an easy thing to do if you have the right connection and that it works with most USB mics. And also so you can quickly compare the audio quality of them because they all come at a variety of budgets. These are a random collection of mics that I happen to have, but this should demonstrate the principle whatever you've got. The one thing these mics do have in common is they have a headphone port, so they are all input and output devices. I strongly recommend you buy a mic with a headphone port so you can easily hear what's going on while the mic is connected. You just plug your headphones into the mic and you can hear yourself and the backing track or listen back easily to what you just recorded. Although I'm filming this on my Android device, I've tested all these mics on my Lightning iOS iPad too. None of them have given me any problems. They all just plugged and played. My Android phone has a USB-C connection. Some of these mics connect straight up to the USB-C port. For the others, I've used an OTG adapter. These are very cheap connectors that allow you to plug a standard USB cable to an Android device. This adapter is obviously for USB-C, but in the past, I also used a micro USB OTG adapter with an older Android phone and it worked just as well. I have a Lightning iOS device, so my trusted friend is this lightning to USB 3 camera adapter and it's very important you buy this one that you can plug in a lightning cable to power it while you're using it otherwise your lightning iPad or iPhone may not supply enough power to power the microphone. With the newer USB-C iOS devices there are various adapters available from the Apple store and so you should be able to find the right connector you just do need to double check that power thing before you buy it. I'm no singer and I've never used small before but I downloaded it this week and and tested it with all these mics. I didn't have to do a thing other than plug the mic in. Immediately Smool just switched to using the external mic. It was super easy. I can vouch for all these mics but not my singing I'm afraid. The app I'm using to film this on Android right now is Open Camera. This is a completely free open source camera app and I'm using it because the built-in camera app on this phone does not work with an external mic. And that's something to watch out for. Check the app that you use with your microphone will support an external mic. On iOS, I use ProMovie, which is a super cheap video app. You just pay a one-off fee of $3 to remove the watermark. Again, it's very easy to use and I find it preferable to the standard camera app on iOS because you can check it's using the external mic very easily. So, a USB mic is going to be a nice, easy, cost-effective way to capture your vocals and acoustic instruments once you're connected. Now, in a future video, I'll look at using a mixer or an audio interface with a mobile device, but in this video, we'll just focus on USB microphones. All the mics you see here, you can get full details of the specs, you can see individual reviews and videos, listen to high-res recordings on my SoundCloud page, and you can access all that from one page on my site. So I'm not going to go into lots of massive detail here on all the tech specs and stuff. I'll just focus on the different mics and how they connect and their main features. I'll use each one in turn so you can get a quick idea of how they sound. If you want to delve into the detail, just follow the link to that page. For each one, I'll give you the current dollar and pound price on amazon.com and .co.uk just for reference, but obviously prices fluctuate. And also I'm looking from the UK, so it's difficult to gauge if the US prices I see include import duties or not. What I'll do is I'll put links to all the mics below so you can go and have a look for yourself. Just a heads up, these are affiliate links to Amazon.
So far, I've been using this Shure MV51 mic, which is currently about £168 or $179, and it's been designed with mobile in mind. I like this mic because it feels really solid and robust, and it has a really easy to use panel on it. There are presets for speech, singing, instruments, and even to record something loud like an entire band. You can easily adjust the gain and the headphone volume on the mic itself. It has a micro USB connection and now ships with a micro to USB-C cable, a micro to USB-A cable, and a micro to lightning cable. So whichever device you want to connect it to, it should work fine. I'm using the micro USB to USB-C here. In the past, I've used it with my older mobile phone and at OTG adapter. I've also used it with my lightning iPad. If you check the Shure site, it says the mic is not compatible with Android, but I have had no problem with it. I think really what they mean is it's not compatible with the Shure Motive app on Android and it may not work with all Android devices, but I've had no problem with it on this device or my older Motorola. It works with Smool and open camera. I used it with Zoom this morning, so from my point of view, it works fine. It plugs and plays on Android and iOS, and I recently did a very detailed video review of this microphone, which you can find on that USB mic page if you want to know more. But it's not the cheapest, so let's go to the opposite extreme. This is the Samsung Go mic, which sells for about £50 or $42, but there must be plenty of second-hand ones out there. It's quite old school. When I had a music store, I sold thousands of these to lots of happy customers. This one is at least 10 years old, if not more. The Samsung Go mic has an old school Mini B USB connection and comes with a Mini B to USB A cable. To connect it to my phone, here I've used the OTG adapter. It also plugs and plays on iOS using the lightning camera adapter I mentioned earlier. It's a nice, neat little condenser mic. It's got two different pickup patterns. It also has a pad switch. So big features for a cheap little microphone. It's tiny. So obviously it's highly portable and this is how it sounds. So for the money, it's very good value. Moving on, this is the Audio-Technica 802020 USB Plus. It sells for about £124 or $149. This is an older large diaphragm condenser mic. Again, it's rock solid. I've had this one about six years. I use it a lot for quick voiceovers. It's very good quality and super easy to use. It's USB B to A. So again, I'm using the OTG adapter with my Android phone. I've also used it quite a lot on my iPad with the powered lightning adapter. So it works really well there as well. It's a USB version of one of the most popular budget studio condenser mics on the market. And so although it's not a very recent USB mic model, I think it's a great contender to use on apps like Smool and is also great for acoustic instruments and any voiceover work. Now I'm recording using the brand new Presonus Revelator, which is about £133 or $150, and that includes a copy of Studio One Artist software, so it's very well priced with lots of software goodies. It has some built-in presets. These can be altered on the mic between broadcast male, broadcast female, and a couple of special effects. If you have a laptop or desktop computer, you have access to the FAT channel and you can really adjust the presets and alter all the DSP. If not, you have those built-in presets. I've actually turned it off because you can do that on the mic. So you're hearing this without any DSP at all. This is a very new model of mic. I've recently done a very detailed review of it, which you should definitely check out if you like the sound of it. Personally, I think you'd get the best value from this microphone if you were also going to use it on a desktop computer or laptop as well as a mobile device because it has a killer loopback feature and you can also use that fat channel to adjust the DSP. So that's the, when you're going to get the best value out of it rather than just as a mobile mic. You should see my review if you want to know more about that. But this is how it sounds out of the box on a mobile device. It has a USB-C connection. So I've connected it directly to my phone with a USB-C to USB-C cable and also tested it on iOS with that powered lightning adapter. And it was fine with that as well. You could equally use it with an OTG adapter on an older smartphone. It comes with a USB-C to USB-A cable, which would plug straight into the OTG adapter and also into that iOS lightning adapter. So that's the Presonus Revelator. 
And last but not least is this short MV7, which is about £219 or $249. And it's been designed with mobile devices in mind, but also works like a dream on Mac or PC. It's a dynamic mic compared to all the others, which are condensers. You need to use the Shure Motive app for full functionality wherever you're using it, because you can adjust various DSP settings in the app. It has the added benefit of being a dual purpose USB and XLR mic. Again, I've done a very detailed video review of the MV7. If you want to know a whole lot more about it, just follow the link to that. This is a really cool mic for vocal use. It's aimed predominantly at podcasters, streamers and so on. But any situation where you want a quality vocal recording, this microphone will do the job. It will be great for singing into as well. Like the MV51, it has a micro USB port. I've connected it directly to my phone with a micro USB to USB-C cable. I've also tested it with the standard USB lead. It came with an OTG adapter and it works equally well. You can't use it with the lightning camera adapter. You need a micro USB to lightning cable if you want to use it on iOS, which I happen to have but I don't think it ships with the mic itself. It's an extra. Well, there you go. I hope you found this helpful. It really is super easy to get an external USB microphone working with your mobile device. Great for audio apps. It will significantly improve the quality of your audio on your phone or iPad. Remember any comments or questions, post them below. This video came about because of questions you've already posted. So keep them coming because it does help me decide what kind of content next to help you out. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like as that really helps me out. If you want more of my recording tutorials and reviews and content like this, then do subscribe to the channel and click the little bell if you wanna be notified when I post up new videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.